You're the very most fun I've ever found, and you're my friend. Hi, this is Cricket talking to you. Welcome to Cricket's Clubhouse. This meeting will now come to order. <laughs> that means let's start having fun right away. We're going to sing songs and play games and hear some stories, too. Now that you're an official member of Cricket's Clubhouse, are we going to have a swell time or what? Meet me at the clubhouse, down at Cricket's Clubhouse. Meet me at the clubhouse, right away. We'll be singing and laughing, anything can happen. Let's hear it for the clubhouse, hip hip hooray. There are plenty of refreshments and games for everyone. So bring a smile and stay a while and we'll have lots of fun. Meet me at the clubhouse, down at Cricket's Clubhouse. Meet me at the clubhouse, right away. We'll be singing and laughing, anything can happen. Let's hear it for the clubhouse, hear it for the clubhouse. Let's hear it for the clubhouse, hip hip hooray! At the very first meeting of Cricket's Clubhouse, I said to my friends Cindy Lou and Jonathan, now that we have a club, we have to have a password. What's a password, said Jonathan. It's like a secret code, I said. It's something you say that only the other people in the club know about. So Cindy Lou and Jonathan and I thought and thought. How about asparagus, said Jonathan, and we all laughed. How about jelly belly, said Cindy Lou, and we all laughed some more. And then I said, how about supercalifragilistic? And we all laughed so hard, we could hardly stop. And when we finally did, I said, are we having fun or what? Hey, said Cindy Lou, that'd make a great password. Are we having fun or what? Oh boy, said Jonathan, nobody's ever gonna guess our password. Well, the next week, Cindy Lou and I were already at our clubhouse when Jonathan got there. He knocked on the door and said, let me in. What's the password, I said to Jonathan. And what do you think Jonathan said? That's right. Are we having fun or what? So we opened the door and let Jonathan in. Then after we played games and sang songs and had some refreshments, I said, Okay, now it's time to think up a new password. How come, said Jonathan? Because if we keep changing our passwords, said Cindy Lou, no one can ever accidentally find out what it is. Right, Cricket? You guessed it, I said to Cindy Lou. Hey, said Cindy Lou, that'd make a great password. You guessed it. Oh boy, said Jonathan, nobody but nobody's ever going to find out our password now. Well, the next week, Jonathan and I were already at our clubhouse when Cindy Lou got there. She knocked on the door and said, let me in. What's the password, Jonathan said to Cindy Lou. And what do you think Cindy Lou said? That's right, you guessed it. So we opened the door and let Cindy Lou in. Then after we sang songs and played games and had our refreshments, I said, okay guys, we really have to think of a super good password now. How come, said Jonathan? Because my little brother wants to join our club, I said. Can you believe it? Hey, said Cindy Lou, that'd make a great password. Can you believe it? Oh boy, said Jonathan, your little brother will never get that one. Well, the next week, Jonathan and Cindy Lou were already at our clubhouse when I got there. I knocked on the door and said, let me in. What's the password, said Cindy Lou. And picture this, I forgot the password. First I said, are we having fun or what? And then I tried, you guessed it. And then I thought and thought and said, hey, you know what guys? I really did forget the password. Can you believe it? That's right, shouted Cindy Lou and Jonathan. Can you believe it is the password? And then they opened the door and let me in. Gee, Cricket, said Cindy Lou, you really had us worried. How come, I said? Because if you didn't remember the password, said Cindy Lou, 
we were going to have to have a meeting of Cricket's Clubhouse without Cricket. <laughs> and then we all laughed. Here's a song we like to sing at Cricket's Clubhouse. It's about a lot of fast animals and one slow one. Let's have some fun. Here's all you gotta do. When I name an animal, you do what he does. If he's fast, you go fast. If he's slow, you go slow. Ready? Let's do it. Squirrels are racing over the ground. Squirrels are jumping up and down. They're so quick, they're so fast. Squirrels, squirrels racing fast. Mice are running over the ground. Mice are jumping up and down. They're so quick, they're so fast. Mice, mice running fast. But the turtle. Run! 
bed. But Oliver wasn't a mean cat. He just wanted to play. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, Oliver would say. I just love playing tag with the little mousies. And he'd zoom all around the kitchen trying to tag as many little mice as he could. Fortunately for the little mice, they were always faster than Oliver. But Oliver didn't care. He loved playing anyway. Then one afternoon, the oldest of the little mice got up to speak. His name was Horatio. This has gone far enough, said Horatio. Sooner or later, Oliver is going to catch one of us. And then where will we be? But Oliver wouldn't hurt us, said a little mouse named Eugene. Eugene was the newest member of the mouse club. Not on purpose, said Horatio. But who knows what might happen by accident. And when they heard this, all the other little mice shivered and shook. I have an idea, said Eugene. Why don't we put a bell around Oliver's neck? That way, he can't take us by surprise anymore. Excellent idea, said Horatio. Eugene, we wish you the best of luck. But, said Eugene, why do I have to do it? Because you're the newest member of our club, said Horatio. And besides, it was your idea. So all the other little mice hurried home and left Eugene all alone in the kitchen, waiting for Oliver. How do I get myself into this mess, said Eugene to himself. Maybe I should just resign from the club and leave town instead. But before Eugene could make another move, back came Horatio with a little bell and a piece of red ribbon. Here you go, said Horatio to Eugene. I found this bell in my cupboard, and here's some ribbon to tie it on with. Gee, thanks, said Eugene. Thanks a lot. But Horatio didn't hear him, because he was already gone. Well, pretty soon, who do you think came zooming into the kitchen? You guessed it, Oliver, the kitchen cat. And was he ready for a fun game of tag or what? But Oliver didn't see any little mousies, except for one, and that was Eugene. So, hello, Oliver, said Eugene. Hello there, said Oliver. Where is everybody? Well, you know, said Eugene, you know how you're always trying to play tag with us little mice? Sure, said Oliver. I just love playing tag with little mousies. Yes, well, we know that, Oliver. And, and before Eugene could stop himself, he said, and that's why we've all decided to ask you to join our club. Me, said Oliver. Join the mousies club? How wonderful. I'm glad you think so, said Eugene. But there's just one thing. You have to wear this bell. Why, I'd be happy to, said Oliver. You would, said Eugene. I mean, that's great. So Oliver put the little bell around his neck, and Eugene tied the red ribbon in a big bow. When do I get to have cookies with the rest of the mousies, said Oliver. Tomorrow, I guess, said Eugene. See you then. The next afternoon, all the other little mice asked Eugene, did you do it? Did you get Oliver to put the bell on? Sure did, said Eugene. And then they all heard the tingling of Oliver's bell. Here he comes now, everybody said. Here comes Oliver. Run, run. But to everyone's surprise, Oliver didn't come zooming into the kitchen like he usually did. Instead, he strolled in, sat down on the floor, and said, Hiya, little mousies. Where's my hot chocolate? And then Horatio stood up and said, Eugene, what is the meaning of this? So Eugene explained to everyone that Oliver was the newest member of the mouse club. But we can't have a cat in a club for mice, said Horatio. Why not, said Eugene. Well, well, said Horatio, I don't know why not. That's settled then, said Eugene. Oliver, have a cookie. So Oliver began coming to the mouse club every day. And pretty soon, he liked having cookies and hot chocolate so much, he didn't miss playing tag with the little mousies at all. You can turn my tape over now, or you can look in your activity book for more fun clubhouse things to do. But whatever you do, just remember, I'll be talking to you.